spring four years ago today to try to add and condemn me. I'm a single woman. Watch your tongue. And I can do whatever I want. Nice try, but I call bullshit. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just hope things will get better, but nothing seems to say the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Hey, who you talking to? Dead tall, like I'm on my tiptoes, baby. You think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, let's talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 13 Reunion and how our girls showed up and showed out in high fashion Dungeon Couture all for nothing. Now before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. Hi! Reunion! Season 13, my second reunion. I'm so excited. I went too hard for it. Yeah, yeah. Today, Bravo released the trailer for the season 13 reunion, and um, <laughs> I've got some thoughts, but I think that we should watch the trailer first, and then we'll chat. Next time on The Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. You keep trying to condemn everyone. You to condemn yourself. What your personal business that I do? Dear Heavenly Father, anoint my tongue because the truth needs to come out, Father. Your family is not under the same roof. Your baby daddy is under the roof of a jail. Allow the truth to be revealed. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Who or what was in Tampa for three days? In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You don't want anyone to be better. Have you decided yourself. to be better though? Mistress, do I sure. do I go down here? Is this how you'd like me, mistress? Ah! You know, I always love them on their knees. Hey! Yes! Oh boy. By the end of the day, keep it to you 100. Candy told me the next day. I know people will ridicule and people will troll, but a responsible woman on this platform, I'm just so disappointed in you. Nice try, Drew, but I call bullshit. Do you feel like you buried the hatchet with Portia? I'll just say this. Let me just do a strike. Everything is because of Portia. Portia, 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 Portia. Why are we sitting here in the dungeon theme right now? Because of the whole situation. Because of her life. Phaedra, she said I had a dungeon. You told someone that you were going to Girl. me and take me to a dungeon. I will sue your so you keep saying it, I know that. You lying ass to bring four years ago today to try to add and condemn me to follow because I'm a single woman. And I can do whatever I want. Watch your tongue. Hush. You're not not your friend. You you hush. Hush. We need some prayer. <laughs> If you watched my last video, you remember us talking about all of the alleged drama that took place at the reunion, my predictions for the seating chart, and of course, we went over the theme for this year's Atlanta Housewives reunion. But I gotta be honest, I can't just sit here and act like I'm satisfied with this reunion. Like, I don't know, like watching the trailer, it's like I'm happy that the trailer is here and our girls look good. But bravo, this ain't it. Get her some water. <laughs> I don't know what's happening lately, but we got these low resolution, unedited photos of the reunion looks just randomly the other week. And now we got this confusing trailer that shows just a bunch of chaos. I just really can't tell like whether this season's reunion is gonna be lit or not. 
on my liking back. <laughs> With fans definitely drawing shade saying, an underwhelming reunion trailer that matches an underwhelming season. Before Team Twirl definitely threw their shade too, saying, underwhelmed, exclamation point, exclamation point, where is the real trailer? Before another fan chimed in saying, we waited for this BS, question mark, question mark. <laughs> and another binge watcher definitely took it there talking about, it's not giving what it's supposed to gave. I want my money back, exclamation point. <laughs> And it was the seating chart for me. Like, this seating chart completely threw me off with Kenya and Cynthia sitting to Andy on the left and Portia taking Nini's seat. I definitely didn't see that coming because, you know, I, 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 I know Portia is that girl and I like Portia, but I just thought, like, maybe because she didn't really want to talk about the bolo stuff, it wouldn't make sense for her to have that be in the hot seat, but I guess she's in the hot seat. And we just got to deal with it. <laughs> but what I definitely didn't see coming was Drew sitting next to Portia? Closer to Andy than Candy is sitting? What? Candy is over here all the way on the end? Ciao. Bravo has been um, putting their OGs and their like high ranking housewives in check. Or maybe I'm just thinking too far into this. <laughs> like, wait, what? Candy on the end? Uh, okay, I want to just let it go. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how Bravo is going to pull off three parts out of this reunion, but I'm hoping that they will listen to our feedback, and I pray that they will be able to slice and dice to make this thing worth watching. But we don't have to wait too long to see if they will be able to let Jesus fix it with part one coming on next Sunday, April 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern on Bravo with part two of the reunion airing Sunday, May 2nd at 8 p.m. and part three airing Sunday, May 9th at 8 p.m. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this trailer. It was just way too much Drew for me. Latoria was on Hush Hush. Candy was sitting like a queen and Kenya seemed to have done what she needed to do, but it still just wasn't it for me. Now, I do think that I was expecting a lot more Portia, you know, of, or, or at least I was expecting Portia to be more in the hot seat, but perhaps they left a lot of those things out of the trailer, so we'll just have to see. And I also thought that it was interesting that Portia made this post on the gram hinting about needing to set the record straight after the trailer came out saying, I need to speak on it, exclamation point, exclamation point. I will be doing a live later today about something I have been avoiding. However, now we need to talk about it, exclamation point. Stay tuned. And fans were definitely trying to read between the lines talking about, hmm, Portia will be addressing the nation. Could it be about hashtag Bolo Night? Hmm, with the wondering emoji and the smirk face emoji. Before another fan chimed in saying, as long as you not saying you leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta, we good. Before another binge watcher responded saying, please don't tell me it's about Bolo. Let people think what they want at this point. It's your kitty cat. I was about to say the viewer. It's your kitty cat. You can do what you want. And whatever the announcement is, we know that Tanya Sam approves because she was all up under Portia's post, leaving say it louder emojis and heart emojis for Portia. Yeah, I don't know what Portia is looking to share, but she's going to be going live tonight on Instagram at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if it's juicy and binge worthy, I think I'll be going live tonight at 9 p.m. right after her to talk about it on YouTube. So if you're watching this video, definitely come back tonight to check to see if your boy going live to discuss some potentially piping hot tea that Portia wants to share. So yeah, comment right now and let me know what you guys think about this year's Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion trailer for season 13. And let me know what you're looking forward to the most. And whether you feel like this trailer is up to your standards or not. Y'all ain't gotta agree with me. If it was good enough, just let me know and I'll shut my mouth. <laughs> And be sure to tell me what you think about this strange seating arrangement.
Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I feel like I got dressed up in this dungeon theme reunion look for nothing. And I low key want my money back. But I'm gonna hold off with the shade and, and I'm gonna just give them a chance <laughs> before I jump ship. Now I ain't making no promises. I may jump ship after part one. But bravo, y'all got part one to impress me. And if y'all don't, I'm done. <laughs> When do you, when do it becomes? <laughs> Thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all on the next one, which is possibly tonight at nine o'clock here on YouTube. But we gonna see, we gonna see. And if you watching this video too late, that's your fault. You need to turn on notifications or something. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Let me get out of here. <laughs>